from the Fox 10 Gulf Stream. This is Next Weather. Well, we thank you for tuning in to Next Weather. I'm meteorologist Nicholas Roboso. So we're going to take a look ahead here. We have a quiet weekend forecast, but you may hear some rumblings about the possibility of strong storms uh, for the next few days. There is a little bit of a chance of severe weather that will be moving across the nation. I want to walk you through the Storm Prediction Center outlooks for the next few days. We have this one over Oklahoma and Kansas, where we have a slight risk, even a marginal risk setting down all the way to Texas. Then on Monday, it comes closer to us. This would be an equivalent of a slight risk that pushes all the way through areas like Baton Rouge, Jackson, Mississippi, just to the west there of Hattiesburg. So you see this slight risk zone. We're going to be watching this one very closely because there's no formal risk on Tuesday, but we'll just keep our eyes on it and see if anything happens. I want to show you the big pattern here. We have a trough that is in our area, gave us some showers this morning, maybe even some showers this Friday evening. Then we're going to get into ridging high pressure for our local Fox 10 viewing area. Then this thing comes in here as it moves east. We'll probably have what we had call a negatively tilted trough that moves in. Watch this very closely. So here's that upper level uh, low that you can see that the upper level trough and we're watching the development of some kind of what we would call negatively tilted trough right here and you can see Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas. This is going to be a bit of a favorable zone for thunderstorms to develop as a strong surface low pressure system develops as well. And this thing is going to move off to the north and then we go to think about the Monday forecast. Notice another kind of extended dip here in the pattern and we have another trough that will be pushing through. We could see some thunderstorms in the deep south. This may continue into Tuesday as this thing pushes off to the east, but you notice it kind of loses its momentum by early on Wednesday. There is another factor to this and it's moisture return. What we need for severe weather to happen anywhere in the country is moisture, some kind of moisture in any way so we can get instability and moisture for the thunderstorms. You also kind of need some warmer temperatures. Best way to get that warm moist air off the Gulf of Mexico and you can see by 10 p.m. on Sunday. Yes, moisture will be pushing in. This is the low level jet winds around 5000 feet. So anywhere you see this orange color, it'll also be windy, probably near the surface as well. So uh, the winds around 40 possibly miles per hour gusting in these areas that you see some of the brighter colors at the surface. But this thing will continue to move off to the east. This is what we call that low level jet, and that is moisture return. That's warm air pushing in from the Gulf of Mexico, warm air advection, warm air moving in. And that means that for our Monday severe weather chances that are off to our west, we will have a healthy environment for some thunderstorms to develop ahead of this. So something we'll just keep our eyes on and we keep a low level jet through uh, Monday and into Tuesday in our area as well. So something we're going to have to watch it even strengthens a little bit there early on Tuesday, typically strengthens in the overnight hours. So that's something we'll keep our eyes on right now, though. No formal severe weather threat for Tuesday. We're just going to keep our eyes on it. Here's that seven day outlook and you can see very nice weekend ahead Monday looking good, but Tuesday there it is a 70% chance of thunderstorms Monday. You'll notice it'll get a little breezy as well. The winds will be picking up. I showed you that low level jet forecast and you saw how windy it was at 5000 feet. That means it's going to be windy near the surface as well. So possibly some wind gusts around 25 30 miles per hour there. Then Tuesday another gusty day as the strong storms move in. Then after this, oh, it looks nice. It looks really nice. Actually Wednesday, Thursday, Friday temperatures will be in the 70s with some cooler mornings out there. Thank you for joining us on Next Weather.